Suppose you have $215 gift card for gas. You spend on average $19 per week for gas. Uh, write a function to model this situation where W is the number of weeks and G of W is the value in dollars remaining. And, and again, the, the G of W thing, that's Y, and then the W here is our X, if, you know, if you're looking at it that way, okay? Now, the nice thing about this is uh, if, if we can just remember that slope is rate of change, right? So uh, I'll write this out. Slope is rate of change. Then you would notice on, uh, in the word problem, again, it may take several readings, but they gave us a rate right here. It's $19 per week right there. Now, the other thing about the 19 is it's dollars spent. So right there, I can see that my slope is negative 19, okay? Because it's, it's already shown as a comparison of two values, dollars and weeks, and it's spent, so it's negative. But in addition to that, they've given us the Y value as how much you're gonna start with, which is a $215 gift card, right? So you, you, most students, I think, would write it like this. It's a $215, this is what you start with, and then you're gonna spend $19 every week, and the W, of course, would be the weeks. This is what would be G of W right here. So this is one way to do it, and I believe Canvas will accept it, by the way. Is, is this formal slope intercept form? No, it is not. But it doesn't have to be, uh, I think, on, a, on these word type problems. You could have also written it, and this would be the same. It would give you full credit in formal slope intercept form, which would have been nine, negative 19 W, uh, and then a plus 215. Uh, again, I, I think this, the first one is more practical just because you could, you, most people would say, yeah, I know I'm, I'm starting with $215, I'm spending $19 per week, uh, and then that would tell me how much money's left on this card. All right, G of seven. So seven, this would be seven, after seven weeks, how much money would be on the card, assuming you spent $19 every week. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, just write this out. I'll use the first one because, again, it seems like it's more practical. Starting with $215, you're going to spend $19 every week. Right now, we can see that the number of weeks it wants is seven. So I'm going to replace the W here with seven. So, uh, you know, order of operations kind of stuff. You're welcome to just put that in the calculator, though. But 19 times seven, I get uh, 133 there. So yeah, the last thing here, just uh, do that subtraction. So uh, 215 minus 133, 82. Uh, I think I can fit that in there, 82. So after seven weeks, it appears on this card. And that's a G of W, but instead of G of seven, after seven weeks, you'd have $82 left on the card. Sorry, that's kind of small. I thought I had less space than I did. $82. Yeah, we, we should label this, by the way, was the value in dollars. It even asked for it right there.